Hello and welcome to GM4 Congruence and Similarity. In order to study this unit, you need to know some things. You need to know about um, G1, where we did constructing triangles, constructing side-side-side -side triangles, angle-side-angle -angle triangles, and side-angle-side -side triangles. And you need to know about your GM2, where we looked at angles, all sorts of angle rules, um, on parallel lines, in different shapes, and things like that. If you're not sure about any of these, do go back and take a look at the content of those units and make sure that you are happy with them before you move on. So, how do we follow the remote learning document? If you've not seen one of these before, what you have are a set of objectives that cover all of the learning from this unit. If you work through this document and tick off as you go, then you know you will have covered all of the content and are up to speed. Don't leave anything out. So, where does GM4 lead? What do we use it for in the future? Mm -hmm. Well, there are two examples of exam questions on, on the screen that you might find that GM4 would help you with, congruence and similarity. And these are the sort of things that by the end of this unit you should be really happy with doing and perhaps leading on to some problem solving questions in the future. Okay, so where does this lead in the bigger picture of mathematics? It leads on to looking at proofs, which you will look at in a later unit, but it's something that you will do in this unit, looking at how to set things out, how to make it nice and clear for the examiner to see, and so on. If you have any questions about this unit, remember to email your teacher and ask. For